Look at my little basket over there. Those are my little baby. Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. I'm Elisa Arthes, just hanging out Rosemont High School this morning. I am telling you, there is so much happening here. You guys, they have a wood shop class. They have welding. I mean, they are building so much here. So we're in the, the metal section. I've got a Chris with me this morning. You might remember, he showed us those cool dressers that he renovated last week. And I was like, I need to come to your high school. Absolutely. Right? All right, so in here, this is where all the metal is happening, all the, the metal workshop. Yes, this is our mechanical construction. This is where our kids get the training to go enter the skilled trades or engineering. Yeah. It's really up to them but we put our ideas into practical application here. So uh, whether it's our giant fabricated metal rack over here to store all of our supplies, or our students taking on artistic projects, yeah. like we have a, a, a floating table, which I'm gonna let Jake. Yeah, Jake, okay, I gotta tell you, you guys, this is the makings of a table. You're making yeah. this for mom? Yeah, for Mother's oh, Day. Are we are we ruining the surprise? Not at all. Okay, all right, Joey, tell, tell me about your table. All right, it's a little suspension table. I saw it on Instagram a little bit ago, so I was like, oh, I gotta make that. It looks pretty cool. So uh, she's really into gardening and things yeah. like that. So I wanna put a, a piece of wood and, uh, on top of it and like uh, uh, make it into a table for her for Mother's Day. It's gonna be like a flower pot, like a uh, stand for her. Okay, now I need to show that show them how it can sustain the weight go ahead and watch this you guys get right on top of it and it holds all my weight i had my uh bigger friend over there help me out too he stood on it with me and we just it supports all that weight it's really nice that they made that they made that this guy over here making a beautiful guitar so cool the other cool thing about this class you guys were solving actual problems here on campus take a look you guys they have picnic tables that are over here we've got our media students as well i love this so much happening look at these picnic tables right during the pandemic they needed to move their eat having lunch outside there weren't enough tables no problem the students here in this class built them they're actually customizing them with the wolverine logo this is so incredible and they're not i mean they're not your basic picnic tables no, they're gorgeous yeah. they're, they're these are these are aesthetic pieces of art that are yeah. completely functional and if we were to purchase this it would cost the district tons of money yeah. but our students saw a need and they created a solution for yeah. it that's the beauty here of our critical thinking yeah. you identify a problem you work to create a solution then you bring it to reality and it. it becomes functional and beautiful and uh that's the best part about what we do here. Over here, you've got those boards that you made for your student body. Those are student A-frame sandwich boards where they can write messages and promote school spirit. Yeah. And uh, our students have made them. That's Maya. She's one of our seniors. Uh, and uh, it's it's really, these are ways to engage the students, get them to act locally, but start thinking globally yeah. about something larger than themselves, thinking long term, mm -hmm. uh, things that will outlast them here at the school. It's nice to be able to come back and view something that you created and awesome. the impact that it will have on generations to come. Okay, and then right over here, they're building sheds. I mean, are you kidding me? That's the residential uh, workshop. That's the residential construction. This is where our students learn, f learn framing and cabinet work yeah. uh, and be beautiful woodwork, in, in yeah. fact. Uh, it's where they develop the skills to, uh, to possibly enter the skilled trade unions, you know, get good good jobs. Uh, we're partnered up with uh, Local 447, the Plumbers Union, and yeah. IBEW 340, the Electricians Union, yeah. uh, so that our kids can leave school immediately and enter those career-ready jobs. They, they, they go right out. They start making improvements to our community. They're able to start building families uh, and, and creating a better, better roads, better buildings, better plumbing, better... And what school. grades are we talking about here for this class? Uh, these are juniors and seniors. Yeah. So uh, these are the students that have kind of identified where they want to go yeah. and are fostering and developing their own skill set to really maximize yeah. uh, their their growth moving forward. I I mean just blown away about all the activity that is happening and how it's all inter intertangled with, with with all of some of the other classes. I don't know about you, but I'm about to put an order in for some cabinets. Okay? <laughs> 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 Man, those I, I just wanted are to amazing. thank I wanted to thank our school district for supporting us and our yeah. interest group for helping us to get here. Yeah. The businesses in the community that are partnering and helping our kids. Yes, none of this would be possible yeah. without a great team working together. Absolutely. I That's love it. Great. Oh my gosh. So incredible. The skills that these kids are going to yeah. walk yes. away from after high school, my friends. Yes. High school. Pretty Ooh. incredible. Here Impressive. at Rosemont High School. Back uh, over to you. I'm sure my neighbor Jack wishes that in. we had that class when I was in school because I always go to his house. Hey, Jack, I need to build something. <laughs> so